Agro Suede and welcome everyone to Agro Suede back to garden with me, Michel Juno Suede. In today's video feature, I'm going to show you how I saved some soil plants on the roof by growing them within a square box made out of block, well, more like a box, block, square, <laughs> something like that. I used blocks to form a square and I added some river sand only just to support the soil for it to grow a certain height and then I had to remove it. So this is exactly what I'm going to show you, how I saved some soil plants in order for me to actually transplant them when they were bigger so that they'll have them produce during the Christmas season to prevent root rot or the nematodes, whatever it is that's affecting the root system of the soil plants. Let's go ahead. Now I decided to make it small as it is because I needed the plant to grow big enough but not too big so that I'll be able to transplant it. And I also added some compost material and rabbit manure at the base or at the surface of the river sand to actually provide some nutrients for the soil as it was growing. As you see, that's why it's looking a bit green. Of course, if I left it in there for too long, the chances are it will stay short like that and produce. Now, one of the reasons I decided also to use blocks is because it can be removed very easily, especially because it's growing on the roof. I can easily remove the blocks to actually get access to the soil. Now of course what I need now to do is to actually shape up the root system and the soil because I need it to be circular or cylindrical rather than square so that I can fit it in the pot. So now I'm just going to chip away or slowly cut off some part of the soil and root system or sand and root system to actually get that circular or that cylindrical shape for me to fit it into the pot. that I fit it into the pot, I'm now going to take this pot with the soil and the river sand and I'm going to transplant it in the backyard garden. But guess what? I'm not transplanting it in the backyard garden by taking it out again from the pot and put it in the soil, but I'm leaving it in the pot and planting the entire pot into the soil. Not flush with the soil surface, but I'm leaving some height. The main reason for leaving it in the pot while transplanting it is to actually allow the root system to come out at the bottom of the pot and go into the soil where it have a lot more nutrients but at the same time it will not be exposed to a lot of soil moisture because the pot will be filled with river sand and the water will drain out very quick. So this is one way indeed that you can actually grow your soil by growing it on a roof or somewhere safe in river sand, carving off the soil and then put it into the pot and transplant it into your main gardening area. Thank you very much for liking our video. Thank you for subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thank you for liking our Facebook page and for following us on Instagram and on Twitter. The links for all the social media sites will be in the description for this video on our YouTube channel, Agrosuit Backyard Garden. Thank you very much. And remember, a backyard garden in some ways will keep the doctors away. And Agrosuit is out.